In mainstream consciousness, disc golf is a fledgling sport. People have heard of it, but only if you qualify it. The tradition, however, is as rich and as deep as its bigger brothers. There's the Hogan-esque legends, the Nicholas-like determination, the Tiger and Phil rivalries. And just outside Stockholm, Sweden, we have our Augusta. Jarva Disc Golf Park is home to the 2014 European Masters, one of four majors of the 2014 season alongside the Japan Open, World Championship, and United States Championship tournaments. Jarva is commonly considered the best course in the world, and on my maiden voyage to the continent of my ancestors, I sought to find out why. From first glance, it's easy to see why this place is so respected. From the driving range, to the clubhouse complete with a restaurant and pro shop, to a 27-hole course featuring beautifully shaped fairways and immaculately manicured foliage, this is the complete experience. Country club amenities meet blue-collar accessibility in a metropolitan area home to 2.2 million Swedes. Most courses are sort of abandoned. Nobody's there. And we got here, there is somebody that works, they have a kiosk where you can buy stuff. And you can buy discs, you can get some help. And there was a driving field from the beginning, so it was great. They had a pro shop, they had discs in all colors and, and uh, tournament players, players that really could play. And the course itself, I mean, I mentioned that, of course, it's a, it's a beautiful place, a hilly, green. But I, I'm a bit spoiled though, I, I have played here so much, but when I see people's faces and what they are saying when they're coming here, they're smiling and, and, I mean... So what are they saying? The touring professionals who have traveled this far for this prestigious event. They've played around the world. Surely this can't be that special. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. First of all, like all the holes are very well designed. Um, even, even the holes we're not playing this week. I've played a few of them just in warm-ups and they're all really good. Uh, very fair. And, Yarva Disc Golf Park is one of my favorite courses in the world. You have people taking care of it 24 hours, uh, seven days a week. The grass is just really well manicured. They do a great job of making sure everything's clean and the, uh, the greens are nice, the tees are nice. Everything just feels special out here. They do a really good job making everything feel professional. This is my first time to Europe and uh, it's the first course I've seen and it's an amazing course. There's all sorts of challenges. You have uh, pretty much every shot. Um, Every shot in your bag is going to throw out here. And uh, I think it's just a huge force and another step for the sport. So it's unanimous. I couldn't find anyone who had bad things to say about Yarbo. But how did it get to be so renowned? First of all, it will take, uh, it will take years. It will not be built over a day. I mean, a course like this will take you, I would say, at least 10 years. They started cutting away things. And then after like two years, it starts looking like a nice hole. And then it let it grow for like two or three more years, then it's really nice. So it takes a while. Their thinking was that this course should be here for like 50 years and it should grow organic. We should not put in a lot of machines and stuff and we, we, we take away bad things, keep the good things and it will grow by itself. Mats is working, like I said, day and night with this course for us, for the players. Jag heter Mats Löv och jag är ägare av Järva Disc Golf Park. Jag har skapat den här banan från nästan ingenting. Det var ett förslyat område utan någon skötsel, utan någon verksamhet. Inte alls den park som det är idag. Och det är snart 20 år sedan jag började. Och det är många skötseltimmar som ligger bakom att eh, få den här parken i, och eh, diskusbanan i sin eh, kondition som den är nu. Mats is uh, he's not the guy that will make you a phone call and say, sell something. I mean, what what he's doing to sell the course. I mean, to have people here. What he enjoys is that people really like the place, the park. He's talking about the park, not only the course. It's actually a park. I asked Mats to give me a tour of his favorite parts of the property. And though he wasn't always able to express himself in English, his work spoke volumes. This, maybe? This is? This is one of my favorites.
one of them you throw from up there and it's OB right there and, and you have to here's the landing zone and then a quite short but difficult shot into the basket there that's hiding behind the the hill Yeah, the island hole is, of course, one of the favorites. Unique for this island is that it's raised up a bit, not walls around it. So it's very hard. It's, there is no fence you can hit and, and stay in bounds. So you really have to, to control the speed. Yeah. And all the, those uh, outside the fairways is very well maintained. So the fairway, when you get it able to cut, it's the, it's the funniest job. It's very easy, but keeping this cutting with, you must go with the trimmer all around this. It takes time, but you get it. We think it's long that uh, when we rör the big buskage, so finns there always small trees that we save so that they can växa upp till, till stora träd så man inte tar bort allting. Och att vi röjer för um, ljuset så att uh, gräset växer bättre där det är väldigt skuggiga partier. Så man får hela tiden tänka långsiktigt hur uh, träden växer upp i framtiden och så. Designers and people that want to create good courses, they definitely look at Järva Deskog Park. So in that way, yeah, well, this golf park will be like a model, like a template. I would say if the sport are to develop, you, we need those, these kind of courses. Why was Yarva Disc Golf Park created? I upptäckte that it needed a real track for the sport to develop. A paid track that was managed with kunnit folk om med försäljning av diskar och diskosprylar och kafé. Min vision är ju den som det har blivit nu fast det har tagit mycket längre tid. Det är vision att skapa den här professionella anläggningen som både passar nybörjare och eh, yppersta världseliten då som spelar just nu på European Masters. It's, it's not enough to have like tees and baskets. It, it could be a really nice hole, but you need the other stuff as well to, to make the sport grow. Like I said before, I, I feel that I, I have been a bit spoiled playing this course so much. So when you're playing in a group with new friends or people that come here to play, they're wow, wow all the time and wow, it looks so amazing and yeah, I, I know. How does it make you feel to know that most people consider this to be the best disc golf course in the world? Oh, this is very good. Det är det jag lever på. Jag tror att här Järva Disc Golf Park har inspirerat många andra banor eller kanske alla banor i Sverige i alla fall. G gratisbanorna som, eh, som har blivit betydligt bättre och det senaste tiden och det tror jag beror på att de inspireras av Järva Disc Golf Park. Och det är väldigt viktigt att ha en, en riktig anläggning för stora tävlingar som European Masters och inte att man kan lägga dem på tillfälliga banor och, utan det ska vara en, en riktig discgolfbana som, som fungerar även efter tävlingen har spelats. Well, we sort of you get the feeling that someone have thought of mostly everything. Well, for me this is how sport should be. I found did found a place that I could be really proud of that a lot of people loved. A, people, a place that I loved first at first sight when I saw it. Are you proud of the work that you've done? Yes, I'm very proud. <laughs> so there you have it. As the eyes of the disc golf world were fixed on Stockholm for that mid-July weekend, Yarva Disc Golf Park stood tall. A bright shining beacon illuminating the potential future of a rapidly developing sports culture. And at the end of it all, I only had one remaining question. What would you like to say to anybody who's never been here and who's thinking about coming to play here? 
Välkommen till Paradiset. The Disc of Paradise. 